Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, good morning. Dry eye disease is often the chronic ocular condition that may eventually lead to damage of the surface of the eye. About 30 million U.S. adults report symptoms consistent with dry eye, but only 16 million have been diagnosed with dry eye disease by a healthcare professional. Here to discuss dry eye disease is Dr. Marguerite McDonnell and Antonia Camano, who lives with this disease. Doctor, what are some of the key findings from the survey, and do these findings reflect what you've observed in your practice? Yes, well, the survey is named the CARE study, Current Attitudes Regarding Eye Care and Eye Health. So there were um, over 1,200 dry eye patients, adults, who either had been diagnosed with dry eye or who had symptoms of dry eye and had been using artificial tears within the previous month, and over 1,000 eye care professionals, optometrists, and ophthalmologists. And the three key findings really are that there is no typical dry eye patient. We used to think it was women over 50, but now uh, there is no typical patient. The uh, category has expanded to include uh, men and women and much younger people. Also, there is a huge opportunity for better conversations between eye care professionals and patients. And also, that 89% of the eye doctors surveyed felt that the use of digital devices and screens was responsible for the increase in the prevalence of dry eye disease. Doctor, given our multi-screen lifestyle, are you seeing different types of patients experiencing dry eye symptoms more so now than in the last few years? Absolutely. We see young people coming in in their 20s and 30s. Uh, one of my three offices that I visit is very close to the Merchant Marine Academy here in New York. And we see these college-age people in the Merchant Marine Academy coming in with severe dry eye complaints because of their constant use of digital devices. They go from one to another all day long. Antonia, could you please tell us a little bit about your experience with dry eye disease? Sure. Well, it's something that I started to deal with when I was a young adult. And my symptoms were visible. So I had the red eyes that a lot of people would always notice and say, you know, do you know your eyes are red? I had that dry feeling um, and overall just a lot of discomfort that was often exacerbated when I put on you know, contact lenses or corrective lenses. So um, it's something I've been dealing with the majority of my adult life. Antonia, how has this disease impacted your daily life? It's made it more difficult for me to deal with things that most people take for granted. So things like going to the mall. Um, those are things I had to plan for because I knew that going into the closed space would cause a lot of discomfort. So I'd have to wear my glasses. I couldn't wear my contact lenses. So as you can imagine, when you're a young single girl, you know, you want to look your best. And it made it more difficult because I was um, severely uh, nearsighted. So that wasn't the most attractive look and I was uncomfortable. But those are the kinds of things I had to deal with. And you know, often if I didn't have to drive, I would prefer that someone else did it just because, again, I would have to deal with some blurry vision once my, dry eyes, were feel my eyes were feeling extra dry. Doctor, what are some symptoms of dry eye disease and what should someone do if they're experiencing these symptoms? The symptoms can include redness, fluctuating vision, light sensitivity, a scratchy foreign body sensation, uh, fatigue, and certainly fluctuating vision when concentrating on a digital screen. The best thing that a person can do if they think they have one or more of those symptoms is to see an eye care professional, an eye doctor, and get a complete annual eye exam. Everybody should get an annual eye exam. And during the process, a questionnaire will almost certainly be given regarding dry eye symptoms and special tests will be performed to see if the patient has dry eye. There's much we can do about it now. Patients don't have to suffer. Also, they can go to a website, myeyelove, myeyelove.com. It's loaded with great information uh, about symptoms and how to be diagnosed and what the treatments are that are available now. Thank you. Antonio, what do you want people to know who may be experiencing dry eye disease symptoms? I want people to know that although it's a chronic condition, you don't have to live with the symptoms. And if you are experiencing any of them, go talk to an eye care professional. Doctor, is there anything you'd like to add about dry eye disease? It is not normal or natural to suffer these symptoms. See an eye doctor. Thank you. I would like to thank you both for taking the time to talk with me today. Have a great day. Thank you, thank Deb. Thank you, Deb. You're welcome.